sorry, that would that's for a Democrat show. Let me know when you're ready. No matter what the technical difficulty is, this man is a professional. He goes all the way. What you represent to them is freedom. Was an extremely great conservative commentator. We're tearing it up on Wednesday night. This is awesome. This will allow me to retort. Well, this is Jersey Joe for uh, the Reverb Comic Sense Show. 8 p.m. on shrmedia.com. Actually, I just totally screwed up. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. The Jersey Takeover is here. We have expanded to two hours every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do you want a kick-ass t-shirt? Do you want to support, help support the show and help support SHR Media? Just go to Reaver.1 and pick the shop button. And pick yourself up a kick-ass t-shirt. How is everybody doing this fine, fine morning? Can't believe it's December already. I can't believe it's the day before my birthday and I'm getting ready to turn 45. Do you know how old I feel right now? I know, I know. Stop whining. It just, oh, man. It feels like yesterday I was 21 and... Having fun. Now I'm getting old and... Uh, where did the time go? Uh, it's... Seriously, where did the time go? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Dang it. it it's... It's it's life sometimes <clears throat> throws you these little curveballs, but you truck along and you keep going. And right, what else can you do? Complain? Nah, we won't complain. We'll just keep doing what we do. All right. So. Let's see what what else do we have going? Anything? Anything at all? I mean, I doubt we have anything in the news going on. Nah. Why would we want to think that? Should be nice and boring, shouldn't it? It should be, but you know, you know, the Democrats aren't going to allow that. Man. <laughs> I cannot understand the, how how many lemmings we got in this country. And I understand they think the same thing about the conservatives. But the problem is they're the ones acting like children right now. They're the ones crying and whining about losing. Well, it's I don't know, Ed. Their excuse. Well, you see, if you had lost, you'd be doing the same thing. No, we wouldn't. I love how everybody thinks they know exactly. Exactly. What we would be doing. Because, uh, well, I didn't know there were so many, um, so many people that could see into the future. Because the conservatives don't do those types of actions. We don't whine and cry like a bunch of friggin' liberals about a loss. We pick ourselves up. We readjusted our party. We adjusted the way we uh, approach our party. 
And then guess what? We went out there and we won elections after elections. And we're now in control. The party didn't exactly do all this. We, the people, did this. Too many Democrats still have the mindset of you got to go along and get along. And that's what they did with Hillary Clinton. I heard so many even during the primary. Well, she's not a good candidate. I like Bernie, but. You know, and, and then sit there and cry because. They put up a shit candidate and come up with every reason. It's the Russians, the Russians, the Russians did it. Get the. It's a red herring, people. First of all, it's used just to try to delegitimize Trump's presidency. Try, I say. Because that's all it is, it's an attempt. They can cry and whine all they want. He's the president. He's going to do what needs to be done. Everything. Oh, he's going to do what's best for you as business. No, he isn't. How the hell do you know that? You don't. That's something you were told to try to sway your simple little mind along. And yet you still parrot it. You have no proof behind it because Democrats, they love their proof. We need proof, 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 proof. But I notice they never have to show any proof. Nope. They don't show diddly and they give all these wacky theories. You want to talk about conspiracy theory. This whole Russian thing is nothing but one huge conspiracy theory it's the russians we tell you it's the russians people the russians are coming i mean i've heard for, go so far as to say that our new flag will have a sickle on it he'll change our flag he's going to come take your guns i mean seriously this is the shit that they come up with they're trying to uh mimic what we say thinking it will sway our minds. They're afraid to lose their guns. Let's say he's going to come and take their guns. That ought to do it. Get a freaking light, people. Seriously, get a light. Go get laid. Go do something. Go hug a tree. It's... Tell you what, go look into Harry Reid's um, finances. Harry Reid has been doing some very questionable dealings over the years. And surprise, surprise. Nobody's ever looked into those. Which is really... And no, it's, it really bothers me. Um, that man has been doing a lot of underhanded shit. And nobody has questioned a word. Well, I shouldn't say nobody because right now you have a prosecutor that is asking whether the DOJ and the FBI backed away from the investigation 
from investigating a possible connection between a potential $2 million bribe and a majority leader at the time, Harry Reid. Seems to be a theme coming up with uh, Democrats that there has been investigations that have been squashed by them. That they're powerful enough, these politicians are, to squash these investigations. A $2 million cashier's check was drawn at a St. George bank November 5th, 2010. From there, it was sent by FedEx to a Los Angeles attorney who represented Ireland-based Full Tilt Poker, made out to Mail Media LTD, a Full Tilt-owned entity, used to launder online gambling funds. The millions that then were deposited at a Basler Canalan Bank in Switzerland, where Mail Media had an account. From there, Davis County attorney Troy Rawlings is investigating whether it went into a Marshall Islands account in the name of Searchlight Holdings Incorporated to benefit or even bribe Harry Reid, the once powerful majority leader of the United States. This uh, Harry Reid, the senator, whom online poker companies had been courting to push a bill to legitimize their gaming across the nation. The Salt Lake Tribune. Gather documents from state and federal investigations, court filings, public records requests, including audio recordings of interviews and thousands of pages of transcripts, summaries by investigators, emails, requests for evidence, and other material show that the Department of Justice and the FBI failed to pursue a vigorous investigation of this money and any potential tie to Harry Reid. This is, it's not the first time Harry Reid has been tied to bribery and illegal dealings. He's tied to a lot of sales of property of the United States to the Chinese government. And why do you think out of nowhere this man announced that he was going to retire? He could have won re-election. I know he could have. He knows he could have, but he knows that he has investigations out the ass and he needs to start covering his ass. It's not out of the ordinary. But, of course, Democrats don't want to hear any of this because it has to deal with their dear old leader. And this is one of those that's getting tiresome. Tired of watching politicians get away with whatever they want, whenever they want. And it seems to be a very common theme. And it's more than just, it's not just... Democrats. We have Republicans in there too. But the Democrats had so much power at one time, they thought they can get away with anything. And this is why I say I've said, you know, when a party's in for too long, has too much power, it corrupts them and they think they can get away with anything.
It goes to the old saying, absolute power absolutely corrupts. And this is why we don't need career politicians. This is why we need to do away with, you got it, career senators. We need term limits. We need to limit how long these people can be in office. We need to limit and control how much power. I, we've said in the past that we can't trust our pol- our presidents to stay in office indefinitely. Why do we want to have politicians, senators, congressmen in general? Why do we want them in power 20, 30 years? We need to, well, stop and smell the roses. We need to we need to stop this out of control government that thinks they can do whatever they want whenever they want. They think they are too powerful. They think they can do what they want, when they want. They shouldn't be allowed to. They're, they're... It's they are out of control and need to be reined in. And that's something I think pretty much everybody agrees on. Hopefully, everybody agrees on that. Uh, I mean, that should be something simple. That our government has gotten way out of control. Yeah, it's too many people think that government life is a career, but it isn't. It really, it isn't, people. It is something that used to be. It, it was. You went, you did the job, you went home. That was it. It was an honor for you to serve. But that was it. That was it. I don't know. All right, you're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media, High Plains Pundit Radio, YouTube speaker, and iTunes. We will be right back.
listening to the SHR Media Network. Hey, it's Sean from the Sackheads Radio Show. Also one of the owners here at the SHR Media Network. Are you opinionated? Have you ever wanted to do your own show? Have you ever heard somebody like the Sackheads and go, yeah, I could probably do that better? Well, now's your chance. Send me a five-minute clip at sackheadsradio at gmail.com. And maybe you can be part of the SHR broadcasting team. Sackheadsradio at gmail.com. Now, Brownells, we know you may have only one shot to harvest that trophy, so we have thousands of accessories and replacement parts to improve your chances. We know how much you love to shoot, so our gunsmiths' articles and videos will help you do more and get more out of your guns. We also value your hard work and money. That's why only Brownells backs up everything we sell with a 100% unconditional lifetime guarantee. Brownells, the world's largest supplier of firearm accessories and gunsmithing tools. The bloviating Zeppelin. He's big-footed enough radio shows to last a lifetime, courtesy of Sean, Clint, Ken, and Jersey Joe. Now it's time for him to waddle on his own two feet via the glorious SHR media. Gird thy loins for the bloviating Zeppelin's berserk bobcat saloon. Coming soon to Ossicles near you, Excelsior. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were at Common Sense, hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Reaver Common Sense Show, hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and hyphensdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That, you didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying cop for the stupid bro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mud Show with its host, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guy. Because truth is not always pleasant. 
If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. It's... Can you believe it's almost Christmas time? Again, and it's just this year has just like whizzed by. I remember, like, God... I think it was going to be forever before the primary season or before the elections even started. And next thing you know, damn, it's done with. It's over. Elections are done and now it's Thanksgiving's done. Oh, my God. Life goes whizzing by, and I think sometimes we are worried, too worried about the small things anymore. I really do. I think we're worried too much. There's more things we could be worried about, more important things. Just everybody's taking things way too personal nowadays. I seriously think we just need to sit back, take a deep breath. Everything will be okay. I promise. Just like we survived the eight years of Obama, you'll survive Trump. It's going to take your progressive bullshit back, which a lot of us are really happy about. I know some people aren't, but you know what? That's the way our government works. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. But the government will still work. It will still represent the people. And I'm sorry, illegal aliens are not part of the people. I think we got that out of control right now. I mean, that really, I mean, because we got federal laws that prohibit this and. You got people breaking the friggin' law. If I got to follow the law, so should they. And that's what it comes down to, plain and simple. Not because I don't like immigrants. I I, I don't know them, so I'm really not going to make judgment, but... There is laws in place. If you don't like the laws, I've said it before, then you change them. You don't ignore, pick and choose. And that's what this president has done for several years. He has picked and choose what laws he is going to enforce. That is not his job. It's simple concept. Very simple. So simple, even a liberal should understand it. Get that? So simple. So simple, a caveman. I don't even think a caveman would have questioned 
what the issue is. And I know liberals that are that don't like what's going on with that. They agree that it, it, there's laws and they're just being ignored. It, it, that's not the way it works, people. It's a very simple process here. I don't know. It Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, something about the idea growing up that, uh, you know, we follow the laws. But I do have some good news for people. Trump's victories have been certified in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. That's right. The recounts are fucking done with. And Hillary, I want to be a little upset. Why? Because guess what? It did change the vote. Trump wound up with more votes than previous in Wisconsin. No, I'm sorry. I find that funny. All that, I think it was 172 votes Trump gained. Oh my freaking God. It, we threw everything Upside down for what? For 172 votes. Pennsylvania federal judge has ruled that there will be no recount, that um, he's not going to waive all the fees, and that her recount is useless. Now what's funny is I think it's uh, the Michigan um, federal judge that shot down the recount is an Obama appoint, Obama appointee. But he, but he, but he, but he. So it's not like conservative judges are knocking this down. There's liberal judges ruling that this is not legal. She was not an aggravated party. She was not, uh, she did not show any hacking. So, I'm sorry. What they were doing is accusing that there's hacking and then agreeing that there's no proof of hacking. So, but we want it. We want it. Yep, 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 yep. I don't understand it. It makes my head spin. It really does. I mean, it, you just make accusations, and that's it. Boom. Okay, we'll go on. Oh, that's not exactly the way it works. You need to have a little proof. And that's the thing. They knew that there was no hacking, and that's what drives me nuts. But the votes have been certified on Monday, and this pretty much locks up Trump's win. That's why now you're hearing, you know, uh, Podesta out there, you know, they want to, they want um, these uh, electorals to have access to top secret documents. They wanted to get intel briefings because they know it's never going to happen. So it gives the appearance that there's something there to look at. 
Why else would they tell us they want us to look at it? If there was nothing there, they wouldn't say to look at it. That's why they're saying it. It's an empty statement that can't be proven. They're trying to switch electorates. Electoral votes. That's all. It is a whining little bitch that can't accept she lost for a third time. And that's what it comes down to. Drives me up a wall. Just it, it, it. don't go away, man. Just go away. That's all. Don't go away, man. Just go away. Bye bye. I got to do it. I got to do it. This one goes out for Hillary. It's all right. Maybe one time you'll make it. Actually, it might look like Chelsea's going to have to give it a try. You might make it. Oh, come on. I forgot where it is. Hell, he's just throwing a hissy fit. Hissy fit. But it's okay. Almost there. Hillary. Hillary. that time for you to go the bar is closing not even bill clinton's gonna try to take you home he did that once and look what he wound up with it's absolutely ridiculous you know you lost get over it you're the one that threw a hissy fit threw a hissy fit he's gotta accept the results But now the shoe's on the other foot. And it was John Podesta who was talking how ridiculous and stupid for saying the elections are rigged. And that's rigged. And now he's trying to rig the election and admitting that it's all messed up. Yeah, it's all messed up, John, because you're fucking it up. Plain and simple. And you know what? I honestly believe it's hurting the Democrat Party. It's not hurting Trump. It's hurting the Democrat Party. Because the people aren't stupid. They see what's going on. 
they see that there's little children in that party and whining away. Well, my whining's going to stop. We'll be right back after these brief messages. You're listening to the Reverb of Common Sense right here on SHR Media High Plains Pundit Radio. We will be right back. Hey, it's Sean from the Sackheads Radio Show, also one of the owners here at the SHR Media Network. Are you opinionated? Have you ever wanted to do your own show? Have you ever heard somebody like the Sackheads and go, yeah, I could probably do that better? Well, now's your chance. Send me a five-minute clip at sackheadsradio at gmail.com, and maybe you can be part of the SHR broadcasting team. Sackheadsradio at gmail.com. Now, Brownells, we know you may have only one shot to harvest that trophy, so we have thousands of accessories and replacement parts to improve your chances. We know how much you love to shoot, so our gunsmiths' articles and videos will help you do more and get more out of your guns. We also value your hard work and money. That's why only Brownells backs up everything we sell with a 100% unconditional lifetime guarantee. Brownells, the world's largest supplier of firearm accessories and gunsmithing tools. The bloviating Zeppelin. He's big-footed enough radio shows to last a lifetime, courtesy of Sean, Clint, Ken, and Jersey Joe. Now it's time for him to waddle on his own two feet via the glorious SHR media. Gird thy loins for the bloviating Zeppelin's berserk bobcat saloon. Coming soon to Ossicles near you, Excelsior. Breaking news, according to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were at Common Sense, hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Center Time, you can catch the Reaver Common Sense Show, hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and hyphensdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying Kyle from a stupid bro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its host, the Jersey Boy, 
Chiefs, Jersey Joe, and Crash right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guide. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. Listening to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe. And I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. I really am trying. But uh, this whole Russia uh, the bullshit is just, it doesn't make sense. Well, it, it makes sense in the fact that they don't have to try to tell people how and why Hillary lost. They don't have to explain it. They can just throw it to the corner and blame it on Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. It's a joke. This I talked about it yesterday. The 17 supposed intelligent agencies that have confirmed that Russia did the hacking. Oh, my God. You want fake news? Report on that. That is fake news. And now we have a unknown source within the CIA has confirmed it knows who it is that did the hacking, and it is a Russian-linked person. Hold on. I, I'm calling bullshit on that right away. Because, right off the bat, this administration has gone out, gone after any hacker that has exposed anything of the Democrats. Right off the bat, it doesn't matter where they are. They would have put out arrest warrants. They would have exposed who it was. And if they knew who it was, they would be slamming his name all over the media to prove. See, this is the person. This is the person that he's the one that did it. And they're not. An anonymous CIA source. In other words, the media is making up bullshit or... Plainly, the Obama administration is making up bullshit to try to keep with this fantasy conspiracy theory. The Russians did it. I'm telling you, the Russians did it. Come on. When people come at me on Twitter and Facebook with the Russia, I just start laughing at them because you are a media stooge. You need to start squawking. Russia, Russia, Russia. I hate it. it. What's funny is we were getting along with Russia up until, you guessed it, Obama and Hillary Clinton and that little fucking reset button. And they've spent the last couple of years of look at me, look at me, look at me, what we did. 
Oh, we're so great. No, you're not. But the idea that the Russian hackers coordinated Trump is the only latest left-wing conspiracy after white supremacists and fake news designed to dull the pain of electoral defeat and postpone the reckoning that must occur if Democrats are to pose a significant threat as oppositional party any time in the near future. That's why I don't understand. They know they got to do this, but yet they keep, they, they won't. They don't want to accept that they are not as great as they think they are in their minds. And that's what it comes down to. They think they're great. They've been told they're special. Guess what? You're not. <laughs> it, it, hey, Cal. There is no new information leading the FBI to its conclusions or supposed conclusions. There's nothing. The New York Times report, the CIA's conclusion does not appear to be the product of specific intelligence obtained since the election. Several American officials, including some who had read the agency's briefing, said on Sunday, rather it was an analyst of what many believe is overwhelming circumstantial evidence, evidence that others feel does not support firm judgments that the Russians put a thumb on the scale for Mr. Trump and got their desired outcome. In other words, someone only decided after Trump won that the accusation was worth making. We are talking about they're whining because why? Because their emails were leaked with all their illegal and underhanded tactics that were going on. They were exposed for their actual illegal and underhanded tactics. And that's what they're mad about. That's what this whole Russia changed the put their thumb on the scale and got Trump elected. No, they exposed the dirty and illegal dealings. Period. And they're trying to also, they don't want to discuss that. They don't want anybody talking about how they were getting questions from CNN. How they screwed over Bernie Sanders. How they were talking shit about their own supporters. Oh no, we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about reality, what really happened. So we're going to sit here and blame it on Russia. So we don't have to talk about how John Podesta was having illegal dealings. That's what it boils down to. They got caught with all the accusations. You don't have no evidence. Well, you, the evidence that the CIA has gathered is inconclusive. The FBI has disagrees with some of the FBI conclusions about Russia's motive, while lawmakers were seemingly united on the need to present a strong bias partisan response, the FBI and CIA gave lawmakers different accounts on Russian motives. And that's coming from the Hill. And that is definitely a left-wing paper. The CIA is not making public claims that Russia hacked the elections. Several CIA veterans, in fact, have urged caution about the leaked report. As Newsweek reports, I am not saying that I don't think Russia did this. And this is coming from a top former CIA counterterrorism office officer, Nada Bakos. My main concern is that we will rush to judgment. The analyst needs to be cohesive and right and done the right way. Thus far, it is not even clear idea what the CIA's conclusions 
are. Despite the left-wing conspiracy theory, there is no evidence Russian hackers actually distorted the voting process. The most that the CIA is alleging is that the Russians may have helped hack. Uh, excuse me, buddy, buddy, buddy. Again, they helped hack of the DNC emails, as well as possibly the emails of Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta. There is zero evidence Russian hackers messed with voting. And it's already come out. Julian Assad has come out several times and said it was not a Russian hacker. In fact, it was an inside leak. It is someone within the DNC party that has been leaking those emails. And that makes more sense that it's someone within Hillary Clinton's campaign. That it was someone in the DNC. There's a link between that. And what's even better is, you know what? I got to thank Jill Stein for her recounts. Because she proved there was no fucking Russian hackers. So guess what? The left can stop complaining about that because Jill Stein proved that. She's got liberal judges coming up and going, there's no hacking. There was no hacking. And I've said this and I'll keep saying, the Obama administration has a history of manipulating intelligence for political gain. The most underreported scandal of the Obama presidency was the CENTCOM scandal in which it emerged that senior U.S. Central Command leaders manipulated intelligence assessments in 2014 and 2015 to make it appear that President Obama is winning the war against ISIS. So there is even more reason to doubt the truth of a selective leak about the election. It's not rocket science tree we have here. It's pretty common sense. And again, Julian Assad and WikiLeaks have vigorously denied that the Russians were involved in WikiLeaks disclosure. The DNC emails Assad said that is a circumstantial evidence that some Russians or someone who wanted to make them look like a Russian was involved with these other media organizations. That is not the case for the material that we release. Assad made several made similar denials about the Podesta email leaks later in the election. They also made accusations that the emails were fake, which were proven wrong. They were 100% accurate. They're making a statement that they know the only way is to for them to come out and say this is who hacked it and expose who the leaker is. They think they're smart, but they're not that smart. They're politicians. And as I said yesterday, and I'll say it again, I was asked, well, who could it be then? Oh, geez. If we're talking about hacking, Iran's been hacking us for years. North Korea's been hacking us for years. North Korea's been hacking into our power grid. They got to the point where they could shut our fucking electricity off. China's been hacking us and got to the point where they could shut our power off. Hell, even though there are friends, I'll even go so far as to say that it's, it could be, it not is, it could be Israel. We messed with their election. Obama interfered with their election to try to uh, stop BB from getting reelected. So what's to say that uh, 
yeah, and they didn't try to return the favor to us. It's not that far fetch of an idea, people. It really isn't. I'm not accusing them. I have no proof, but I was asked a question, and that was what I came up with. Hell, it could have been Britain because we interfered. We've been interfering in other countries' elections for years, and now we're all surprised there's a possibility someone tried to interfere. And that comes to my next point. Foreign interference in elections is nothing new. And it is nothing new for us to mess with other people's. We went so far as the State Department, the State Department gave $300,000 to a a pro-peace Israel group, which then paid political activists whose goal was to unseat Bibi. Ted Kennedy had asked back in 1984 for Soviet help. He asked Russians' efforts to intervene, which never came about. I mean, it... Let's go with Occam's razor. And the simplest explanation for the hacking, Russia hacking story. It is a conspiracy theory that the left wing nut jobs believe. And it's not the first time this election that the U.S. media, the mainstream media, to outright lie to the public to help the Democrats. It's not the first time that the Democrats have planted stories with these mainstream media, with them knowing it was an outright lie, and then they report on it. You're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media, High Plains Pundit Radio, YouTube speaker, and iTunes, and we will be right back. Hey, it's Sean from the Sackheads Radio Show, also one of the owners here at the SHR Media Network. Are you opinionated? Have you ever wanted to do your own show? Have you ever heard somebody like the Sackheads and go, yeah, I could probably do that better? Well, now's your chance. Send me a five-minute clip at sackheadsradio at gmail.com, and maybe you can be part of the SHR broadcasting team. Sackheadsradio at gmail.com. Now, for Arnell's, we know you may have only one shop to harvest that trophy, so we have thousands of accessories and replacement parts to improve your chances. We know how much you love to shoot, so our gunsmiths' articles and videos will help you do more and get more out of your guns. We also value your hard work and money. That's why only Brownells backs up everything we sell with a 100% unconditional lifetime guarantee. Brownells, the world's largest supplier of firearm accessories and gunsmithing tools. The bloviating Zeppelin. He's big-footed enough radio shows to last a lifetime, courtesy of Sean, Clint, Ken, and Jersey Joe. Now it's time for him to waddle on his own two feet via the glorious SHR Media. 
Gird thy loins for the bloviating Zeppelin's berserk bobcat saloon. Coming soon to ossicles near you, Excelsior. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were at Common Sense, hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the River of Common Sense show, hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its host, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guide. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reaver of Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. I really am. I'm trying with dealing with um, liberals. It's not that easy. And... uh, they're acting like two-year-olds. I, I, didn't, no, I don't mean to insult two-year-olds because, well, two-year-olds act better than that. Uh, 
It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, there goes my headset again. Oh, boy. I hate my headset. I really have to replace them one day. Oh. Give me one second. This really pisses me off. Because I hate that I can't hear. And all I have to do is bang it just the right way, and it'll come there. Yep. I think I got... Nope. Uh, well, let me try to actually go on with you. The next article uh, that they talk about is uh, CIA's uh, politis- politicized intelligence about Russian hacking. It's, it's a joke. A Center for Security Policy Executive Vice President Jim Hansen had talked about the claims that Russian hackers influenced the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. A deeply ske- skeptical Hansen said that that there was not even a bit of evidence, not even a tiny bit, that Russia had anything to do with election results. He found it comical that all the news outlets on the left which is basically all the news outlets except, well, just a couple now. Um, It's just, the like I said, the ones that are willing to carry water for the liberals. It's the only ones. <laughs> I really hate my headset. All right. Got a temporary working. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need that today. It, it's... All this is is a politicized discussion. The Democrats are willing to start a fucking war with Russia. They're they're ready to throw away peace with Russia. And I know there's some issue with Russia going on, and we got to address that, and it will be. I mean, we've had a government group, an administration that has ignored what Russia has been doing. And then they sit there and want the Republicans now to stand up to Russia. Where the fuck was Obama to stand up to him? Where? He had his head so far up his own ass, thinking how great he is, ignoring what Russia was doing. And now he has the balls to come out and say, well, you guys got to uh, uh, be very, very strict with him. You can't take no shit from him. You did. You bent over so many times for Russia. It's not even funny. It's, oh, my God. And now you want to sit here. And go this bullshit. Russia interfered with our. Give me a break. I'm not buying it. I- I'm not buying into the bullshit. Not one single bit. No. It- it's. It- it's a distraction. Nothing more. Nothing less. And anybody buying into it, it, it just that scares me that you're that gullible. And yes, it makes you that gullible. Because there is no, no reason for any of this. That, it's scary. Start of war, just so the Democrats can try to gain a little strength because they've been losing. It's all they've been doing is losing. I've gone over how many seats have they lost since Obama got in office.
Seriously, how many seats have they lost? It's actually quite funny how many seats they've lost. But the sad part is they can't even get their heads out of their ass <coughs> to realize that, well, oh my God. They can't even realize, hey, you know what? We lost. This is why we lost. And we need to get our heads out of our ass. But no, they keep coming up with excuses and excuses. Oh, God. <laughs> we lost. It's Russia. It's almost comical. If it wasn't so stupid, it would be comical. It just. I don't know. I don't know, people. But it scares me to what country that we're having that we have uh, politicians that are acting like this. It's absolutely, utterly crazy. I've said it, and I'm going to say it again. My daughter, my 13-year-old daughter, has more respect for herself than these um, so-called politicians. A 13-year-old girl takes more responsibility for herself. And that that's... I just, I, you lost. Big deal. Learn from it. Pick yourself up. It just, I don't know. I do not know. I don't understand at all. I don't understand a group that says that they're supposed to care about the country, but they're doing anything to tear this country down, to rip it apart for a little political gain. That's not caring for the country. Hillary doesn't give a shit about the countries. The Democrats don't give a shit. As long as they make money, that's all they give a fine fig about. And Obama, I, I, he has politicized these campaigns. He has politicized intelligent reports. He has manipulated intelligent reports in the past. So when I start hearing, there's a leaked document from the CIA. Yeah, I don't believe the bullshit. Don't believe the hype. I really don't. Then they wonder why so many people don't believe Obama when he speaks. If you like your insurance, you can keep your insurance. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. And if you like your constitution, you can keep your constitution. Yeah. We see how that's going. You got Democrats trying to kill the truth. They're pushing so much fake news, it's not even funny. Now that I've depressed myself, uh, <laughs> you're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media, High Plains Pundit Radio. Um, and we will be right back. Listening to the SHR Media Network. 
Hey, it's Sean from the Sackheads Radio Show. Also one of the owners here at the SHR Media Network. Are you opinionated? Have you ever wanted to do your own show? Have you ever heard somebody like the Sackheads and go, yeah, I could probably do that better? Well, now's your chance. Send me a five-minute clip at sackheadsradio at gmail.com, and maybe you can be part of the SHR Broadcasting Team. Sackheadsradio at gmail.com. Now, for Arnell's, we know you may have only one shot to harvest that trophy, so we have thousands of accessories and replacement parts to improve your chances. We know how much you love to shoot, so our gunsmiths' articles and videos will help you do more and get more out of your guns. We also value your hard work and money. That's why only Brownells backs up everything we sell with a 100% unconditional lifetime guarantee. Brownells, the world's largest supplier of firearm accessories and gunsmithing tools. The bloviating Zeppelin. He's big-footed enough radio shows to last a lifetime, courtesy of Sean, Clint, Ken, and Jersey Joe. Now it's time for him to waddle on his own two feet via the glorious SHR media. Gird thy loins for the bloviating Zeppelin's berserk bobcat saloon. Coming soon to Ossicles near you. Excelsior. Breaking news. According to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here. Every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Center Time, you can catch the Reaver Common Sense Show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying cop for the stupid bro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show, show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mud Show with its hosts, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guide. Because truth is not always pleasant. 
If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, rebootingliberty.com or the reverbcommonsense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reverb Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe. And just when I think I got it fixed. It's not fixed. All right, give me one second. Oh. Do, 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 do. Let's see if that. Come on. That should work. And oh god. It just it just oh. and it's like almost there. And then nope. <laughs> what the heck is going on? This drives me up a wall. Drives me up a wall nonstop. All right. Uh oh. I couldn't get it out there for a second. This is going to drive me absolutely nutty. Nutty. Nutty, nutty, and nutty. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to leave it the way it is. I sort of got it somewhat, but. It's. I don't know. It. it in my book, um, I believe that they're doing more harm to the party than good. They think they're playing this game and it's showing. I don't know what. Shows me that they have. Um, that they're uh, uh, children. They're immature children. It may help with the millennials right now. It may make them look like they actually are doing something. But the adults of this country are looking at them and just shaking their heads. You always have a couple that are going to that, that, that fall in line. But I believe that most Americans are going and going, this is just this unreal. They lost the election. Now they're throwing a hissy fit. I mean, they've tried everything from recounts to uh, blaming Russia to um, and, and fake news. And I've said it. The biggest offender of fake news has been the liberals themselves, the liberal media. And they keep pushing. They're pushing this fake Russia. And I'm sorry, I don't believe this bullshit of the CIA leaked document. It's a leaked document by an unknown person. I don't believe it. I don't believe the hype. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Obama has proven time and time again he'll politicize and twist political or excuse me, uh, uh, intelligent reports to try to save his ass. And that's all it looks like he's doing now. He's trying to save the Democrat Party, and they think that this whole Russia thing will save him. Yeah. I don't think so. I really don't. I wish him well. I wish him good luck. Uh, but I think you're really hurting your own party. But the other part, and I'm also, this one is making me snicker. The left is freaking out about Trump and his pro-gun stance. He's like no politician ever before. 
He seems to back up what he says he's going to do. And one of the main things that he wants to push, and they're already writing the laws now, is a national reciprocation of your concealed carry. Be like a driver's license. You can go to any state you want and use it. It's that simple. I mean, why does my constitutional right end, or my right to protect myself, and just because I go into occupied territory of New Jersey, California, or New York. And the funny thing is that Lieutenant May or Lieutenant Governor was running his mouth saying what he's afraid is going to happen is, I think it's Utah that allows you to get a concealed carry permit from their state, and you don't have to be a citizen of their state. So what happens is it, 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 Californians will then be able to go to, you got it, Utah, get a concealed carry permit, and then underneath this national reciprocation would be able to carry in the state of California, which would piss off and all the anti-gunners' heads would explode simultaneously. Poof. No! And they're freaking out. They are freaking out bad. Because they see this whole gun, anti-gun movement going down the drain. One signature can do it all. And I'm not talking pen and piece of paper. I'm talking with laws. Laws that politicians, well, we've seen them ignore in the past, but you know what I mean by it. It's not like, okay, the next president comes in, I don't like it. I'm going to do away with the executive orders. No, we got a president who's going to govern by law. I know it's something people are not used to, so it's okay. It's okay. I understand the fear. You're not used to it. You're not used to the rules. We've been picking and choosing which rules. Worse than picking someone's nose. Uh, five things, five actions President Trump can do to take, or can uh, take to save the Second Amendment. And I believe he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that we protect the Second Amendment. Did he have maybe uh, some uh, misguided thoughts on the Second Amendment at one point? Yes. He doesn't deny it. And that's the funny part. He does not deny it. He un- he admits he had the wrong idea. He was given wrong information. He educated himself and found out, hey, shit, I was wrong. Holy shit, a politician admitting they were wrong. Because, yeah, technically now Trump's a politician. But what he needs to do immediately is he needs to nominate a pro-Second Amendment justice to uh, Supreme Court vacancy. I know we're going to have a fight on our hands because the liberals are going to throw a hissy fit over everybody. They think that we should be nominating moderate. Yeah, I doubt they were going to, if they had the chance, they'd be uh, nominating uh, moderates, and they would not be listening to what? the Republicans had to say. We've been in that boat before and we got to hear how they would just turn around and say, well, win an election. Yeah. They did that. I bet you. I wonder how much they're going, shit, we never should have fucking said that. Shit. That really screwed us, people. No, because Democrats don't think like that. They don't think like that. So he needs to start off with a very pro Second Amendment um, Supreme Court. He needs to roll back all of uh, President Obama's executive orders. Uh, he needs to listen. I, I don't mind the idea of the smart gun. But it's technology that is, it's an idea ahead of its time. 
doesn't mean we should stop working on it. No, you keep working on it, but it's not ready for public use. Well, there's also, well, you can have this wristband that uh, links to your gun, so only you can shoot your gun. Yeah, and guess what? I can take that wristband off of you and well, shoot you with your gun. So we're back to the initial problem. Um, smart gun technology is, no. They have zero effect on crime. And we've seen how gun control is for deterring crime. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. In fact, I got an article coming up that, that it's not funny, but it is funny because um, I remember listening to a bunch of whiny liberals talking about we need justice reform. It's not fair. It's not fair to the black people. It's not fair. We need to eat justice reform. We stop jailing all the black people. <clears throat> and that's what they're talking about doing in Chicago, making the uh, um, jail term stricter for gun violence. They create this little problem. Now they want to make jail time even worse. It, it, I have no problem with them increasing the jail time, but we'll get into that in a little bit. I don't want to get ahead of myself now. <clears throat> As I said, he can do the national uh, reciprocation uh, for concealed carry. Uh, throughout his campaign, he had made clear his conviction that self-defense does not end at one's driveway, and self-defense does not end in your state only. He uh, stressed his belief that uh, concealed carry is a right, not a privilege. He said the right of self-defense, as I said, doesn't end at the end of your driveway. That's why I have a concealed carry permit and why tens of millions of Americans do too. That permit should be valid in all 50 states. A driver's license works in every state, so it's common sense that a concealed carry permit should work in every state. If we can do that for driving, which is a privilege, not a right, then surely we can do that for concealed carry, which is a right, not a privilege. And yes, for the liberals, you can. It has been used. A car has been used as a weapon of mass destruction, a weapon of murder. It happened time and time again. You just had it recently. The terrorist used his car to run people over, then get out and start stabbing them. We saw it in uh, France. They used, what was it, a truck or a bus and started running people over. We see it time and time again with drunk drivers. There's more people killed by cars than there is by gun. So I'm tired of the argument. And saying that is not comparing equal. Yes, it is. You just don't want to accept it because, well, it blows your theories of this utopia. Everybody gets along and sings kumbaya together. A national reciprocation is not an issue. I never understood why can I carry in the state of Florida, but if I go on vacation... And to areas I don't know, and I might have to drive through areas that are not so nice. I can't carry my weapon at that point. I can't protect myself or my family when I most need it. Uh, it brings up firearm suppressor deregulation. I, I don't know a lot about it, to be honest. And I'm not that versed in it, so I'm not really going to get into it. And obliterate. Do away with this Social Security gun ban that says if you're on Social Security and you have some financial issue, you don't have a constitutional right anymore to protect yourself. That was the biggest bitch I had. Even my parents who, who don't own a gun, they said, why can't we? Well, we might hit a little hard time with money, but because we're retired and on Social Security, we don't have a right anymore. <laughs> and this is what happened. It started under the mental health moniker. And it goes in and it goes from, you know, this goes to it. Like, my doctors asked me, so you feel depressed about your injury? Nope. Nope. 
I will never say yes, even if I was. I would never. Why? Because I don't trust my doctors anymore. My doctors are armed to this anti-gun. That's all they have to do is have an anti-gun if they know I own guns. I could lose my guns because I might be a little blue one day. I might be a little upset because I'm in constant pain. So, yes, I don't I don't trust doctors anymore. It's not the place of my doctor. It's not the place of the government for so much control. We give too much already to our government. You're listening to the Reaver of Common Sense right here on SHR Media, High Plains Pundit Radio, and we will be right back. Hey, it's Sean from the Sackheads Radio Show, also one of the owners here at the SHR Media Network. Are you opinionated? Have you ever wanted to do your own show? Have you ever heard somebody like the Sackheads and go, yeah, I could probably do that better? Well, now's your chance. Send me a five-minute clip at sackheadsradio at gmail.com, and maybe you can be part of the SHR broadcasting team. Sackheadsradio at gmail.com. Now, for Amels, we know you may have only one shop to harvest that trophy, so we have thousands of accessories and replacement parts to improve your chances. We know how much you love to shoot, so our gunsmiths' articles and videos will help you do more and get more out of your guns. We also value your hard work and money. That's why only Brownells backs up everything we sell with a 100% unconditional lifetime guarantee. Brownells, the world's largest supplier of firearm accessories and gunsmithing tools. The bloviating Zeppelin. He's big-footed enough radio shows to last a lifetime, courtesy of Sean, Clint, Ken, and Jersey Joe. Now it's time for him to waddle on his own two feet via the glorious SHR media. Gird thy loins for the bloviating Zeppelin's berserk bobcat saloon. Coming soon to ossicles near you, Excelsior. Breaking news, according to the latest report coming out of SHR Media, a merchandise store to support both the Reaver of Common Sense and SHR Media has just been unleashed to the general public. Be forewarned that this site can be contagious and numerous items can be purchased to support the best news programming. Go to Reaver.one website and click on the store link to check out the merchandise. We were a common sense hosted by my dad, Jersey Joe. Beware, the Jersey Takeover is here every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can catch the Reaver Common Sense Show hosted by Jersey Joe. Right here on shrmedia.com and highplainsdailynews.com. Only Jersey can deliver hell like no one else. So consider this your fair warning. In a world controlled by corrupt politicians. You got a business. That You didn't build that. A team of ordinary men emerge from the ashes to give voice to the voiceless and hope to the hopeless. Sackhead Sean. Dude, I'm not saying cap for the stupid bro. Sackhead Clint. All good friends of ours usually show show up drunk. drunk. Also starring Sako as the producer. I'm a little bit drunk, I'm a little bit drunk, cause I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. They are the Sackheads Radio Show. 
every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific on shrmedia.com. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch the Southside Mutt Show with its host, the Jersey Boys, Jersey Joe and Crash, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Radio, where we will be digging up the dirt. Times are dark. The people misled by corrupt politicians, lied to by establishment media, and deceived by the false messages of Islam. A nation in confusion needs a guide. It needs a man with a cane. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker, SHR Media, High Plains Talk Radio, Live Rebooting Liberty, and YouTube for a unique brand of commentary on the Unpleasant Blind Guide. Because truth is not always pleasant. If you miss a show, don't worry. You can catch the replays two ways, RebootingLiberty.com or the ReverbCommonSense.com. While you're there on Reverb Common Sense, don't forget, drop in your email and keep up to date on everything going on, or click the like button on the Facebook widget. Now on to the Reverb of Common Sense. Listening to the SHR Media Network. This show contains language that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. And now on to the show. And welcome back to the Reverb Common Sense. I am your host, Jersey Joe, and I'm trying to make sense out of the senseless. The Jersey Takeover is here. We have expanded to two hours every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, uh,. I don't mean to laugh because it's not a laughing matter, but it is. The, the the irony does not escape me. If you remember, the Democrats have been crying for a while about the unfair by the unfair uh, um Brain fart, sorry. The unfair sentencing of black people. And that we are just throwing them all in jail and it's not fair and we have to be nice and all this. Come on, enough. So they started easing up and uh, tying the cops' hands. And now what's going on is, well, it's simple. We have Chicago being overrun by violence because what do the criminals have to fear? Nothing. The the Democrats had downplayed sentencing. Uh... And let these criminals get away with anything and everything. Well, now it seems, at least, the Democrats, because every time the gun discussion comes up, it's, yeah, we see Chicago's working out real great for you know, with gun control. So it kind of keeps getting slapped in their face, and they're kind of getting pissed. So now, what is their brilliant idea? We're going to uh, have tougher prison sentences for repeat gun offenders, keeping them off the streets and decreasing the city's uh, mounting death toll, which is, I have no problem with it. But if they wouldn't have fucked with the gun sentencing, if they wouldn't have messed with uh, sentencing these gangbangers in the beginning, we wouldn't be having this discussion at all. They tied the hands of the cops. They're the ones that created this issue. Because they wanted to play politics. They wanted to play this identity politics. They wanted to get voters. And they didn't care all the 
hundreds of thousands of people that have died along the way so they could push a bullshit narrative. And how many people died because of the Democrats' arrogance? I, I, I. <laughs> and the same building and the same Senate seat where Democrat Obama launched his political career and focused on racial profiling issues. Democrat uh, Raul or some shit like that plans to propose legislation next month to impose longer sentences for defendants who who previously committed gun related crimes. And the cops are backing it. I know they are. 700 homicides a year. It is ridiculous. And it's funny because the state's past attempts to strengthen such penalties have been turned down, meant by opposition who worried its further incarceration rate in its predominantly black neighborhoods, hardest hit by the violence, and doesn't address the root cause of readily available illegal guns. They want more comprehensive solutions that go beyond law enforcement. And I really want to bang my head against the wall. They're criminals. And you want to coddle them. You want to baby them. When they would sooner stick a gun in your face and shoot your fucking head off than even give a shit what you have to say. It's not because they're black. It's not because of anything. It's because they don't give a shit. Don't tell me it's because of where they live. Because the buses run out of every goddamn city every day. And that's not me. That was us. Not Samuel Jackson. Um, The black actor, older gentleman, he's got the... Those little black dots on his face. Um, God damn it. This is going to bug me. I only got a couple minutes left in the show. Morgan Friedman. Morgan Friedman even was the one that was saying that buses leave out of every city, and he did the same thing. He got the hell out. And it goes for, I, I've heard it with the whites living in trailer trash. Uh, you pick yourself up. You figure out something, and you work your way out. Seems uh, we have Democrats that want to make excuses for our criminals than to. I don't know. Oh, and now you have the New York York Times hiring a reporter who sent stories to Clinton staffer for uh, approval. So New York Times that's bitching and moaning about fake story has hired... Uh, one that has pushed fake stories and not just pushed fake stories. He sent his articles to the DNC for approval before he would publish them. But Lord knows he didn't do that for uh, Democrats, or excuse me, Republicans. Talk about uh, partisan. It's ridiculous. Someone like him should not be 
working. I don't know. I just do not know. It, it. Democrats got their hand in so much shit, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They really don't. I wish I knew the answers. I'd be a very rich man at that point. The other group is mom's demand is crying and whining. It's... I don't know. All right, Bo. That's about the end of the show. Um, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's double day. We have the South Side much so at 8 p.m. Of course, we have Reverb Common Sense at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody have a great day. Be safe. You've been listening to The Reaver of Common Sense with its host, Jersey Joe. You can tune in every day, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on hbpundit.com and shrmedia.com.